Welcome! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a cloner to your character in Unreal Engine's motion design mode to create this cool effect. Now to get started, I'm just going to delete my cloner and character so that I can show you how to make this from scratch. Go ahead and open up your content browser and drag and drop your character into the scene. I found this dude off Mixamo.com. Then add them to your sequencer so that you can add some animation. I'll be using this swing dancing, which I also found on Mixamo.com. And now let's play this and we have a happy dancing mannequin. So we're ready to head over to motion design mode. If you don't see this, make sure your motion design plugin is enabled. And then under actors here, go ahead and add a cloner actor to your scene. I'm gonna go ahead and zero out this cloner. Then delete the default cube since we'll be adding some spheres. Use this drop down menu, find shapes and then select sphere. We can zero out the sphere as well. And let's add a different material here. If I go to my materials folder, I made this material and basically all I did was put in a yellow color and then I made the metallic and roughness both 0.5 to give it a little bit of a shiny effect. And now make sure that the mobility is set to movable. That way we can drag and drop our sphere into our cloner and then select the cloner. And under layout, layout name, change it from grid to mesh. And then under Asset, change it from Static Mesh to Skeletal Mesh. Then use this Picker tool and select our mannequin. And now we're getting it, but it's doing the T-Pose. So what we need to do is change the sample data from vertices to bones. And now it's, it's on the pose of our dude. And if I hit play, unfortunately it's not sticking, but we can fix that by going down here and under Spawn, change it from Once to Infinite. That way it'll always be changing as our character moves. And if I hit play, it's gonna be really slow at changing because right now the loop interval is set to one second. So I'm gonna change this and make it 0.01. And now we can see the balls are spawning as our character moves. Right now the spheres are way too big. So I'm gonna change them to 0.45. And that's some smaller spheres, but we're still getting some issues with trailing. And I think trailing would be cool if your character's walking or running and they're just leaving behind all these particles. Maybe you could spell something. I think that could be a fun effect. But for this dance effect, I'm going to minimize that. And in order to do that, go to lifetime here and check enable. And then I'm going to give these both a value of one. Let me play this again. And I'm going to check on this scale enable here so that they shrink as they age. And right now we're getting this jittery effect. So I'm going to go up here and add more to the count. I'm going to make this a thousand. And now we're getting a lot smoother of an effect. Let me go ahead and pause this and raise my character so that the spheres aren't intersecting with the ground there. And nice. Let's play this from the beginning. And then I think we have our effect. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I have this other tutorial about how to link an effector to your character. That way you can scale and move things as you go. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.